the first point is Cochrane Insurance Medicine, who are we? The first thing I would like to say is that, sorry, that Cochrane Insurance Medicine was created as a field in 2015. Our mission is quite straightforward to make insurance medicine more evidence-based. And how do we do it? We do it through the design, implementation, and diffusion of knowledge translation products and activities. It means through the advocacy for the production, we compile and diffuse uh, evidence as well as foster the use of evidence among the insurance medicine community. Currently, Cochrane Insurance Medicine has around 15 active members from um, five different organizations. Uh, you can see here University of Basel, uh, University Hospital of Basel, the Knowledge Center for Insurance Medicine in the Netherlands, the Dutch Academy, Academy Center for Insurance Medicine, Max Master University in Canada, and Karolinska Institute in Sweden. So the big question before we start, what is insurance medicine? So insurance medicine basically is an area of medicine in which insurance medicine professionals are related or involved in medical assessments and interventions for social and other private insurance schemes. Examples of this, for instance, are the disability pensions for health-related incapacity to work, all the interventions and activity to increase return to work for people with disability or with uh, sickness, prolonged sicknesses, morbidity caused by accidents, sick allowances, but also life and health insurances, particularly for the private insurance schemes. One example for you to get an idea of what uh, insurance medicine professionals do uh, will be, for instance, a case of a patient with chronic back pain, which does not allow him to perform his usual work. Then at some point, an insurance professional will assess his case, will determine the capacity of work of this person, and will determine to which degree this person could be entitled to some disability benefits. The same case, for instance, for patients with uh, chronic mental diseases could be an example, for instance, patients with chronic depressions that cannot work or cannot perform their work, their previous work as they, as they used to do. 